Hey folks, Turbine Guy coming back at you. Now today, we're gonna replace an engine computer, engine control module, on this 2004 Chrysler Sebring. Now this thing's been running rough and intermittent, and I got a feeling it's this guy, but beware, these things are not cheap if you're gonna replace them. Thankfully, they're easy to do. It is always wise to disconnect the negative battery cable for any electronic work so you don't destroy any other electronic equipment. On the Sebring, it happens to be right here on the fender. Now, first thing you got to do, pull a 10 millimeter bolt out of here, and then we got an 8 millimeter nut that we take off as well. Now that I got that, this whole thing's kind of loose, I got to loosen the wires. You push back on the red clips on these, and then you can pull them off one at a time. And I got my engine control module. The last thing I'm going to have to do is take this bracket off and put it on the other one. And the way to do that, a couple of nuts over here look to be 8 millimeter. So I'm going to switch this bracket out. I'm going to put it back in just the way it came out. And that's how you change a computer on a 2004 Chrysler Sebring. 